Hello, this is Daniel, and welcome back to part 10 of this character modeling tutorial. And let's continue uh, to work our way up this body. At first, I will um, start by closing this loop here that we still haven't um, finished. We want this one to. Um, oh, let me think. Yeah, I want this one to connect up here. Um, about here where the rib cage um, is, you know, that corner there. Now make sure that from the side here you don't forget to adjust it. And I think it looks good if you make the one in the middle uh, fairly straight above this one, and uh, but these ones a little bit further, not really, but you know the way uh, rel by by using relative spacing, not like this in front. Just so it's here straight, and then it goes a bit like this. But you'll see what I mean a bit later on, I think. Now about here, I don't think there is so much to be careful about. We simply extrude this up from here to here and from here to here. Now, of course, we need uh, to, to um, spend quite some time on adjusting things again. Um, but at least we don't have to worry about other things in that time. Yeah, something like that. General, maybe I think the entire body should here be a bit slimmer, just a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. And you see again, I'm using the smooth um, tool for doing various uh, modeling tasks, as for example, moving this one up. Maybe the reason why I like it so much is because it automatically um, makes everything even and that's what we would want to go for anyways if we would place it by hand. So um, I guess if the, if the computer does it better for us, why not let him do that? Mm, all right, okay. The same thing up here again. And up here, the spine, uh, um, this, you know, this crease here is a bit um, less intense. So I move these uh, vertices on the side away from each other, and this one a bit more out again to um, kind of dissolve this line. Yeah, here soon there will be the shoulder plates, so I'm leaving a bit of a curvature here where those will join in, hopefully. Of course, we'll, that will need some repositioning later on, but that is okay for this matter. And yeah, and then let's close this part like this. Um, I'll start by continuing this loop into this direction and splitting this area up into two more loops. And then close this one up here as well. Actually, I'm a bit worried about having too little density in this area, but um, as long as I don't get any better idea of how to fix that without having to glue cut it here, I'm going to leave it like that, but just so you know uh, what I'm thinking while working on it. I guess that is helpful for learning how to think while working on such a project. Maybe we should um, 
Now let's just continue with this the way we do right now. Just let's do the following thing. I will here um, what do we do here? <laughs> okay. Let's split this up. Um, be careful for these kind of things. I'm going to merge those together again. Let's do it like this. And make sure it's all even again. Easily done by smoothing, of course. Let's create a loop code here and connect this. Yeah, I think that will work out. And now we can, yeah, we have now a bit more than, uh, a bit more density here than we had before. And the topology isn't that bad either. So yet another problem solved. Now let's spend a bit of time on detailing the body itself. So for example, trying to make the rib cage <coughs> more realistic and of course be careful not to um, to overdo these kind of things it, it very quickly starts to look very bad but if if you do it just very subtle it mm, will look pretty good mostly working with smooth again. That is always a good thing to for fixing a body as well. See I just smoothed out this area basically. Okay that looks good to me. Um, let's fix these kind of things. Be careful when you do loop cuts, not to leave those uh, watches untouched that you don't see, because also you'll get things like that and that looks pretty straight and unreal. You want to have the curvature in every uh, vertex you create, so don't forget about that. And there is a crease here that we don't want. That's because these are too close together and they will decrease. So we can delete that. Um, so note how this shape here is. It's getting a bit towards the back because of the muscles, the way the structure of the muscles are. Okay, now that looks already much better. Let's move these ones out a little bit to um, increase uh, this this here, this area, you know, the sharpness of this um, corner here. <coughs> and again, if you feel uneasy about any part of this, um, definitely go and look at some uh, illustrations or uh, actually human references for seeing um, how the b body uh, is on the one hand in reality to learn about anatomy and on the other hand how artists um, how artists draw it uh, to make it look better because you know we're walking in a very stylized way Yeah, I guess that would help you, maybe. Yeah, 
yeah so you know no one will be seeing this body as i mentioned in the past um videos because of course we'll give her some clothes but um you know it's still good practice and you know if you don't do it you will uh, if you think you would um you do this as a job or something and you, you had never modeled a body ever and then you suddenly had to you would probably fail at it so it's definitely a good thing <laughs> not to be too lazy and to really go for the, for the uh, entire body instead of just doing the cloth yeah but i guess that is enough for this part uh, so we made again a little bit of progress and we'll continue with the upper body um in the next part thank you for watching as always